Hello, I'm Erica and I'm here today with Laura and Bob and we're discussing Via Health's process. So Bob, I'd like you to walk me through this. I'm a patient, I get hurt, my, I well, have this bill. I want you to walk me through that. Kind of start from back at the hospital. Um, we take self-pay patients, okay? And so self-pay can be that if you don't have any insurance, um, once you break your leg and the charges are all compiled, they drop the bill to us immediately. Um, or you could have insurance, which is where the hospital will send that bill off to your insurance company, and the insurance company, once they've paid it, now they send this uh, account to us. And either way, once the account comes to us, it's self-pay. When that account comes to us, we count that as day one. Once it's known to be self-pay, that's kind of day one. Um, so we receive these accounts from these hospitals anywhere from day one all the way up to day 60. Um, so depending on where we get receive those accounts from the hospital is going to depend on determine where we're going to set them up in our process. But basically the process is that initially when we get the account, we send an, a letter out the door. Uh, statement. Mm -hmm. um, and so now you're aware of what your charges are. We don't call you immediately and the reason for that is is that if we followed up right away with a call you'd get kind of ticked at us because you'd think well they're hounding me for this bill. Well so what we do is we allow that first bill to go out and then the, the next bill that we send which is generally 25 days later we allow that to go out to you and get to you and you have about a week and after that week we start calling. And that's when we really try to contact the patient. One of the most important things from our perspective is that we talk to patients. Because if we can talk to you, we can work out some kind of payment arrangements. Um, people are a lot of times scared about a bill. You know, mm -hmm. I've got to pay this whole bill. I can't afford that. Right. Well, one of the things that we do is try to ease that pain um, and, and arrive at a payment solution that works for the patient. So during this, this process, when we look at it, we're sending out letters and we're making lots of calls. And then we send out another letter and we make lots of calls. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, ultimately, if we can't ever contact you, the account goes back to the hospital and then the, ho the hospital determines what are they going to do with that, that account. Are they going to forward it on to collections? Are they, is there a charity program, some special charity program? Are they going to write it mm -hmm. off? Um, that type of thing. Okay, so you explained the process to me as if I were a patient and I had to deal with paying a bill. Why don't you explain it from, from your perspective? Um, as far as uh, handling the patient. Just the process. Well, when a patient calls in, um, and a lot of times patients don't even know that there's payment plans available for each hospital, and they all are different. We Sometimes the patient calls and they're really angry and upset, and they get a $15,000 bill, and maybe insurance was missed at the time. We'll take the insurance submitted in for the hospital. So Bob explained the process and did a great job doing that. Now I'd really like to know approximately how long do you have an account? Um, typically it's between 105 and 120 days that we would have the account as long as we're not, um, it, other issues haven't come up like their insurance wasn't billed at the time of service and if that comes afterwards then we'll hold it for pended for 30 days while that process is going through. Or if um, a patient can't afford to pay their bill and the financial assistance that is available through that hospital, again, we will hold the account and follow through with the financial assistance. So it can take longer than that. But if everything has gone through um, smoothly, then it would, that time frame would be right. And the 120 days is pretty important because there's a requirement, federal requirements, on, on how long you process certain types of accounts like Medicare, Medicaid, okay. um, and how long you work, work those accounts before they're ultimately returned to the hospital and then the hospital makes a final disposition on those. Okay. So you're bound by those Right. One of, one of the things that we have to do, we have to make sure during that whole process is that we follow um, the truth and lending laws, um, all, all the types of, there's a lot of other hands in the pie, if you will, federal agencies and that type of thing that uh, control a lot of what mm -hmm. has to occur. <clears throat> um, and so we make sure that um, our system is designed around asking the, the appropriate questions of the patients and making sure that we're dealing with the accounts in an appropriate manner. Great. Well, thank you both for being here to discuss Via Health's process. It was wonderful talking with you, Laura and Bob. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.